Corey, I know that uh, we've been fortunate to have you down here in Nebraska to do some meetings for us the last few days. And uh, you have got just, uh, I would encourage anybody that can get to your program to get there because what you talk about in terms of fertilizers, nutrition, you talk about the, the cost per acre of our fertility programs now mm -hmm. compared to our seed costs, compared to a lot of the other costs that we've got. A lot of guys just kind of take it for granted that that fertilizer cost is what it is. Um, the, your programs, the educational component, I think, are so critical to a guy understanding what's going on in that soil. ProAg One is a program that Conklin offers. Yeah. Dennis Naiman is, is our primary trainer there. I know you've been to that program. What would yeah. you say to a grower that has the opportunity to attend a ProAg One program? I would certainly highly encourage him to go because what Denny does is he does a really good job explaining to the grower all the different aspects that go on in the soil. The misconception with soils and soil fertility is all these nutrients that we put out there are immediately available or recoverable to the, to the plant. And they're really not because I tell growers to think of soils as a beaker and chemistry class and every fertilizer we put on is a salt which is a conjugation of an acid and a base. And you're always going to create a chemical reaction and either going to have something precipitate out or solubilize. And you want to try and keep that stuff as soluble as can and plant available as you can. And a ProAg One, I really really do believe there's probably not another program like in the United States when it comes to really educating growers on the different um, fertilizer types, different placement, and the different recoverabilities of these fertilizers. Um, Denny does a great job and Conklin does a great job you with bet. it. One of the products he talks about there is Guardian, a product I know you're familiar with, and yep. it's specifically for nitrogen as far as liquid nitrogen, liquid manures. Uh, that's a product that is a slow releasing material. What have you seen with that product in particular? Um, I've got a lot of growers that use it. You can either use it on urea or use the city manures or in 28 or 32 percent. And I encourage growers to use it um, not only for their pre emerge uh, 28 percent application or urea, but even if you're going to be doing some side dress, because what it does, it's a product called DCD, as you know, and it inhibits the nitrification process moving from ammonium to nitrate. Once nitrogen's in the nitrate form, it's very susceptible to denitrification or leaching, so you kind of have to, as Denny would say, use it or lose it. With this, if you can fundamentally shift ammonium later in the season, the plant is more efficient at taking up and using that ammonium, and then you limit your chances of lossing through mm -hmm. denitrification of that. So um, technically, you do end up with higher yields. Mm -hmm. So that's where I really, really like the Guardian product. Now, I know you worked with Dr. Jay Goose, who's kind of the North American expert on nitrogen and stabilizers. And yep. one of the questions I get a lot is, is about, well, what about these different products? I know he's done a lot of research on them, but DCD is one that he highly recommends. Yep. Um, it, it, the only th it will not affect volatilization, as I understand it, but it, the leaching denitrification, which is where you lose most of your nitrogen, yep. does a great job. Uh, Agritain is a product I hear a lot about. Yep. I don't know much about it. Is that a product that it, it, uh, compare it to DCD. So what Agrotain does is that is a um, it's a urease inhibitor so that inhibits volatilization of urea. It has nothing to do with the nitrification process and that's called Agrotain. That's only for top dress urea, okay? That has nothing to do with any nitrification process. Now they do have a product called Agrotain Plus that um, contains NBPT which is Agrotain along with DCD. The DCD that's contained in it is probably about, I think, a third of the rate that's recommended by different universities or by the Conklin Company. And so, yes, you do have some nitrification, but it's really not enough there to do you any justice. Okay, okay. Yep. very good. Great information. Corey, thanks. I Thank appreciate you. it. Yep, thank you.